We are now one month into the MLB season and the Seattle Mariners sit atop the AL West headed into May for the first time since 2009. Winning run. High drive left field. We've got a Mariners win. Max Garver. They're now 13 and six over their last 19 games, which is tied for the best record over that span in the American League. And they now have five consecutive series wins against the Reds, the Rockies, the reigning World Series champion Rangers, the World Series runner-up Diamondbacks, and the team with the best winning percentage in baseball right now, the Atlanta Braves. Through 31 games, they are now 17 and 14, one game ahead of the Texas Rangers, two and a half games ahead of the third place Oakland A's, six games ahead of the Angels, and then six and a half games ahead of the Houston Astros who are currently bringing up the rear in the AL West. Who expected this start from the Astros? <laughs> the Mariners are first place in the AL West, even though they've scored the second fewest runs in the division so far this year, all due to the fact that they've allowed the fewest runs in the division so far, and by a significant margin, they've allowed 20% fewer runs than the second place team in the AL West. And their 102 runs allowed so far this season is second place in all of baseball, only behind the Kansas City Royals. All thanks to the Mariners' elite pitching staff. Mariners starting pitchers have now gone 19 straight starts without allowing more than two earned runs. Over that 19 game stretch, they have a 1.47 ERA, just 19 earned runs and 116 in a third innings pitched. The last team to have a streak like this was the 2021 Los Angeles Dodgers. Their streak was 20 games. The Mariners pitching staff as a whole has allowed just 30 earned runs over the last 19 games, which is 45% lower than the second place Red Sox. The Mariners also lead baseball in quality starts so far this season with 19. As for the last place Houston Astros, over their last 18 games, they have the worst ERA in all of baseball. With a 6.37 ERA, 62 earned runs in 87 and two thirds innings pitched. And get a whiff of this. Seattle is one of just two teams this season with multiple different pitchers recording games of 20 plus whiffs. Luis Castillo and George Kirby have been absolutely dominant. And Logan Gilbert and Bryce Miller have been absolutely dominant. Logan Gilbert has gone 2-0 with a 2.03 ERA, 44 strikeouts to 9 walks, a 0.8 whip, and 183 ERA plus in 6 March and April starts. Bryce Miller has gone 3-2 with a 2.04 ERA, 39 strikeouts to 12 walks, a 0.88 whip, and 182 ERA plus in 6 March and April starts. Speaking of Bryce Miller, he's at a fantastic start to the season, allowing opponents to a 156 batting average against, a 2.04 ERA, and a 0.877 whip. He's currently recording 9.9 .9 strikeouts per 9 innings and 3.1 walks per 9. And his issue last year was getting left-handed batters out. Well, so far this year with that new splitter, he's allowed left-handed batters to just a 121 batting average against, a 493 OPS, and over half of his strikeouts on the year so far are against lefties. The Mariners starting rotation leads all of baseball with a 9.67 strikeouts per nine innings. And the pitching staff as a whole is leading the league in whip with a 1.03, walks per nine innings with a 2.41, an average of 15.56 pitches per inning and batting average against with a 208. And we haven't even seen Brian Wu yet, who's nearing a return from the injured list. The Mariners in the rotation have not one, but four aces. And oh, by the way, the Mariners pitching staff as a whole is the third youngest in baseball with an average age of 27.9 years old. As for the team leader at the plate so far this year, it's been all Josh Rojas. He currently has a 313 batting average, a 403 on base percentage, a 171 weighted runs created plus and OPS plus. He has the highest walk percentage on the team with 12.8%. He has the lowest strikeout rate on the team with 15.4%. And he's made outstanding plays at third base as well. And here's his baseball savant page to back it up. It's littered in red. He's in the 99th percentile in sweet spot percentage. He's doing a great job at not chasing outside the zone. He's not missing when he's swinging. And his strikeout and walk rates are also some of the tops in the league. If you'd like to submit an apology to Josh Rojas, go ahead and comment below. Outside of Josh Rojas, things haven't been too great with the Mariners offense. They're currently 25th on the year in OPS, 
first in all of baseball in total strikeouts. And there are only three players on the Mariners' current roster in Josh Rojas, Cal Raleigh, and Luis Arias that have a weighted runs created plus above 100. Only three of their hitters have been above league average in overall production. And it's not the guys that you would expect in Julio, Polanco, JP, the guys that they will need down the stretch. In order for the Mariners to sustain their success, they will have to turn things around at the plate. They'll have to go acquire a big bat at the deadline. But looking at a positive, the Mariners are fourth in baseball on the year in hard hit percentage, as well as being seventh in all of baseball in average exit velocity. So we'll see if their batting average on balls in play will start to trickle up over the coming weeks. But Julio has got a hit. Also have to give a big shout out to Dylan Moore. The statistics do not necessarily show it, but he has been a dog for the Mariners so far this year. There's multiple games that the Mariners probably don't win if he's not in the lineup. The ability he has shown in the field again is not there in the statistics, but the eye test is there. And keep in mind, the Mariners still do not have a fully healthy bullpen. Matt Brash has been shut down and is likely headed for Tommy John, but Gregory Santos is slowly working back. And the guys that we have seen this year in Stanek, Munoz, and company overall look solid. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the Mariners' start to the season. And for more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe, share it with a Mariners fan, and follow me across social medias for short-form content. And we'll see you next time.